<laughs> hey, this is uh, Zachary, and I decided to make a video today. I know I didn't make a video last week, but hopefully this will go out on Saturday, July 7th. Um, what this is, is a while ago I made a video known as the power of periods, or he will not grab my pussy. Um, and <laughs> that video was me, inspired by Ingrid Nilsson. Uh, showing you how to make a um, period purse or period uh, packer. Um, it contained like a purse and like what you should put in there, like different kinds of pads to have, paid medication. Um, and I kind of described how I deal with that sort of thing rather than, you know, the full thing in there. But it was a little bit broad and not as specific. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about something that's a little bit more specific. I'm going to talk about how I deal with periods as a female to male trans person. Um, which isn't exactly different as everyone else, but um, it, it can be. So we're going to start. Step one is um, tracking my periods. Uh, some people can calculate in the calendar. But sometimes that's not as accurate, sometimes you don't really know. So the best way to know is through possibly an app, or if you're really good at math, just do that. But personally, I use the app Clue, just telling you now this is not sponsored, and I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to do a screen recording. Woo! High tech! So let me show you that first. It is a period tracker. What it does is it tracks your periods, just telling you that now, kind of obvious. You type in whatever symptoms you have. So yesterday I had heavy bleeding, cramps, any kind of symptoms you want to enter, whatever you need to do. Skin, if you used any medications, your collection method, any sort of symptoms you'd like. Um, other than that, it also tracks when you're next going to be fertile, the next time you ovulate, and your PMS. It also um, calculates when your next one is going to happen, so it gives the most accurate dates as possible. Um, and it tracks three cycles into the future. So if you want to know, let's say you have one in July, I'll tell you August, September, and October. Well, most of October, not all of October. Um, that tells you what's happened in your previous cycles, any information you need, how long it's been since the last one. And then you can connect your cycle with another person. You can add someone else's cycle here. Let's say you are in a relationship with someone who has periods and you want to add their cycle as well so that you could keep track of both. Or you can invite someone to view your cycle, either a person you're in a relationship with or your roommate, just to make sure. There are different tracking options, so you can put whichever type of symptoms you believe are the most important to you. like. If you do certain activities like exercise or if you have birth control or anything like that, so that'll be there as well. You can set reminders for your next um, period or anything like that. Um, and that has a report, so just to let you know, like, it'll show you which ones you want to put in there, all sorts of information, and cycle science, it tells you everything you need to know about a thing. You can tell your friends about it, so you can invite your friends, or put it on social media, which I think is really weird, like, connect to Facebook and let everyone know. So, um, cycle science is basically telling you what each one means, you know, what you need to know about these things, you know ailment, why track these things, um, what you should do if you need a doctor, anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. This is not sponsored, by the way. I just wanted to show you how I track things and how I keep myself in check and all the things I need to know. Okay, so that's all the information you need. And once you add a new one, you can press this plus button or you can press down here and add symptoms. It depends on which button you want to check. If you're adding a new one or if you just want to enter today's data, you'll go right there. Okay, so that's Clue. Step one was tracking. I used the app Clue. I showed you that. Um, second thing is the kind of stuff I use. Some people use tampons. Some people use pads. Some people use the menstrual cup. I personally use pads, um, usually um, always, like that brand. Um, usually I get the teen version. Um, they have different sort of sizes, like if you have a heavy flow, if you wear a certain kind of underwear, it usually works. 
Um, usually if I'm on my period, I'll wear panties. Um, but if I'm not, I sometimes wear boss briefs. It just depends on how I'm feeling on that day. So yeah, the type of stuff I use, I use pads. Um, I use night ones and day ones. Um, the night ones, I usually get the really heavy set ones because I sometimes can be heavy. Um, and also tracking wise, another part of this is, um, sometimes people like to use different equipment because it feels better. Um, I personally don't use tampons because I'm kind of like not into that whole thing. Like pads, like with tampons, I feel like it would induce more dysphoria down in that area. So this kind of helps with dysphoria. It also helps make me feel comfortable and like it helps me make sure, you know, I know I probably won't leak if I wear a pad, like all that sort of things. Um, so that's usually what I use. And step three is how I deal with cramps and pain, which is a very important part of this. I can sometimes have very intense cramps, usually on the first and second day, they're very intense. So I use the Sivas Health Pain Relief. Um, this is not sponsored by anyone. If it was sponsored by CVS, I would be dying. <laughs> if this was sponsored by any sort of brand, whoo, that's not happening today. But I have to use liquid pain medication because I cannot swallow pills whatsoever. Um, so I usually use liquid pain medication. All I do is I take a 30 milliliter cap of it and um, I'm good for about six hours. It takes a while to kick in, but most of the time it's pretty okay. Um, do I have any more steps for you guys? I talked about tracking. Um, oh. And the fourth one is, I kind of want to talk about dysphoria in this area because sometimes um, periods can induce dysphoria, especially with me. Um, so what I do is I like to feel as comfortable as possible. That's kind of my thing. I try to feel as comfortable as possible. Clothes wise, I usually stay in my pajamas as much as possible. I don't like wearing jeans or shorts, so I kind of just wear pajamas or leggings. That kind of helps. Um, dysphoria kind of doesn't affect me in that area as much as like other areas like chest or my voice or my height or something like that. So I don't experience as much dysphoria about the bottom area. So I don't experience as much dysphoria there, so it's not that bad, but especially when I'm going through this, it's like, damn, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want my period anymore. I don't. Ah. So it can be a little bit stressful, anxiety, emotional wise, it's a lot. Like I get very emotional. I cry almost every day. It does not help. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's basically all of it. Um, those are the main points I want to talk about, especially with me dealing with uh, this cast situation. Um, I do have problems with acne, like I talked about that in the um, tracking area, you know, it tracks all of your symptoms. Um, so anything you want to put in there, like it'll track it and it'll be like, hey, you'll most likely get this. Or it'll like give you a notification of when it's going to begin, when you're going to be fertile, when you're going to ovulate, so don't have sex now. Like, <laughs> Um, and if you're in a relationship with someone or you have a roommate and you want to be like, hey, this is how I'm going to be feeling for the next week. Uh, sorry. Also, mine usually last five to seven days. Like, that's my kind of situation. Some people last longer than seven days. Some people last barely three days. And those people are horrible she-demons or demons in general. No gender. Just demons. Like, I don't know. Um, some people experience more pain than others. I experience um, just mainly cramps, but usually a lot of back pain. Um, so this really helps. It's pain relief for not just periods, but everything. So it kind of helps with all of the pain that's going through. So I usually get problems with cramps and usually my back really hurts. I don't really have problems with my chest or like anything like that. Acne wise, it's like a big thing. Like I get a lot of acne, especially in this area around my forehead. That's where my acne kind of because it's like oily hair and like all of that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I've made a video like this before, but then I wasn't identifying as female to male. And I wanted to talk about dysphoria and how dysphoria works. And sometimes, you know, it can be dysphoria inducing. And if you have friends that are female to male, be like, hey, you're still a dude to me. Or be like, hey, 
it'll stop soon, you know? Get ready for testosterone if they wanna go on testosterone. Some people don't, it doesn't matter. But if your friend's like, oh, I can't wait for testosterone, be like, yeah, it's gonna like super help you and like, woohoo or something. I don't know the exact way to communicate if you're cis and you're trying to make your trans friend happy. Um, just be like, you're still manly to me, or you're always gonna be a dude, like, don't worry about it, yeet. So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, and if you're in a relationship, like, make sure you communicate about this stuff. Like, be like, hey, I can't have sex right now. Or, hey, I'm gonna be super emotional, it's not about you, it's just hormonal. Like, try and explain that. Like, don't hide it away, because I know people are, like, very ashamed of it, especially, like, cis girls that are in relationships with cis men it's like like i know a lot of girls that like don't talk about that with dudes like at all but i feel like it's a really healthy discussion because like if you don't talk about it you're not educating anybody like i see it as like, an education point you know i tell my boyfriend this sort of stuff i'll be like hey so this is what happened to me so keep that in mind <laughs> like he has like a sister so it it doesn't really he's fine with that like he's not uncomfortable with it. expiration date january 2020 cool i have like three bottles of this in my house right now i have so much because i always forget it's in my house i always stock up as much as possible like the app will give you notifications, so it's like, hey, this is gonna begin in like two days, so like, we recommend you get prepared, like, go buy some pads, go get some pain meds, go do whatever you need to do, buy some chocolate, you know? Pretzel M&Ms are the best. If you like pretzels and M&Ms, pretzel M&Ms. Just go for it. It really helps. Any- people get really weird. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really healthy discussion to have. I think you should have these discussions with people, you know, just to like, give education. But also be like, hey, I'm a human, this happens to me. Like, I have a bunch of cis dude friends, and luckily, <laughs> people are more open nowadays. But I'd be like, hey, I might start crying weirdly. Like, if we're hanging out, I might just start crying or I'll get really irrationally angry. That's only because of this. Like, it's not because of you. Like, that's just how I want to communicate. I want to be like, hey, I'm not angry at you. I'm angry at my body. <laughs> like, that's what's happening here. So, I think it's a really healthy discussion. How many times have I said healthy discussion in this video? I want to put a counter for every time I've said certain things. Um, so yeah, I hope this video educates you or helps you. Or if any of my dudes are out there, like my cis dudes, eh, and you're in relationships with someone who gets periods, and you're like, I don't know what to do. Just be like, communicate. Don't be grossed out. Because most people are grossed out themselves. If you are a cis dude that's dating a trans dude, and you're like, uh, like my boyfriend's like, I know you don't like this. <laughs> Like, just be like, I'm sorry, what do you need me to do? Like, be like, do you want me to cuddle you? Like, do you need food? I'll buy you food. I'll go get Bojangles. Like, that was specifically for the South. Um, <laughs> like, that's the kind of boyfriend you should have. It's like, I'll get you whatever you want. I'll buy pain meds from the store. I'll buy pads. I'll, I'll get you sh Um... So yeah, this video is kind of long because of that screen recording thing. I'm trying to edit it. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this gave you some insight. Uh, like for more content like this. Subscribe for more content like this. Comment what videos I should make next. I love taking your suggestions. Follow the social media links in the description below. And hit the notification bell for a new video every Saturday slash Sunday. Hope you enjoyed this. And I can't wait to see Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's all I'm gonna say to you guys. And educate yourself.